Alright guys, welcome to another video and in the last video we finished this section in here of the specialties, our services. So let's go in here to our design again. So we finished this one, uh, yeah this one in here and now we are going to build this one in here, the today special menu. So we're going to create in here these, these divs with all these images and stuff. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is going in here to my Visual Studio Code. I'm going to copy this comment in here. Okay, and I'm going to put in here, let's see what is the name. I'm going to put special menu. Um, yeah, so I'm going in here and I'm going to put, uh, this is the start of the special menu, special menu section. Okay, and we got this and what I'm going to do in here, first of all, is I'm going to create a div, like to to put all these kind of things that we have, I'm going to create a div that is going to take all of it. So in here, I'm going to create a div with a class of special menu section. Okay, in here, like I said, I'm going to put everything that is in here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a H1 in here. Oops, let me just like undo this. I'm going to put the H1 with a class of special menu, special menu H1. I think it's like this that I'm going to put. Yeah. And in here, I'm going to put two day. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I think it's just like this that they put, uh, so I need to put like separate so I can put like capital, okay? So I'm going to put today and then I'm going to put an H2 and in here I'm going to put a class of special menu H2 and in here I'm going to write down special menu, alright? So let's see how does this look like at the moment going to refresh and we got our today and we got our special menu in here is with a with a with, with a color white that's why we can't see it as you can see in here look is in here so we got today and special me so first thing let's go to our main.css i'm going to copy some kind of uh, divisions like we have in here so let me just copy this one that is just in here. So this one is the special menu section. Okay, special menu section. I'm going to put in here. And first thing, I'm going to target. Let me just see in here what I have. I'm going to target my special menu section this big div that we have in here that we are going to put everything inside and first thing I'm going to do is give it a text align of center to make sure that all our text in here goes to the center let me refresh look now it's in here in the center now what can I do as well I'm going to put in here a background color back background color to be the same this color in here okay and i'm also going to put some padding all around of 50 pixels so we have a little bit of uh, breathing room around you see look in here is already like touching this previous section i don't want this i want to give it a little bit of space let's refresh and look we got today in here we got special menu in here and all of this is now with this color so it's looking fine Right, let's go in here now and I'm going to target my special menu. Uh, what do I have? Uh, H1. Okay. And in here I'm going to put the previous, I'm just going to copy what I have in here. The previous font family Rochester cursive, cursive, yeah, to have the same. And after I'm going to put a color of... I'm going to put the same is this kind of orange and also I'm going to put a margin 
bottom of 15 pixels and I'm gonna put a font size of 40 pixels okay I'm targeting just this one in here I'm gonna refresh and see how does it look like okay we got today in here it gave a little bit of space to down here so this is fine now let's do this one in here the special menu okay so special menu h2 because I created the h1 in here and the h2 so let's target this one this h2 okay h2 and what I need to have in this h2 in here let me see ah I want to have a color of just black just regular black and I'm gonna give it a margin bottom of let's say 50 pixels okay I'm going here I'm gonna refresh and that's it let me just see if this is the font size that I want yeah okay so this is the font size that I, I need to put this font family is just because I was doing this before and I need to add this one in here okay this one I got a color I got a margin bottom I got the font family font size 50 pixels and letter spacing 2 pixels this is what I wanted to put in here because I was just doing this before I, I did this just just to make sure I have everything fine that's why I had it in here I forgot to take it off right so we got these two ready now let's go and start creating in here this section in here with all this stuff so let me see in here uh, first thing I can do is I'm gonna create a container around around this okay so let's go in here and just give it a little bit of space and I'm gonna put a div with a class of special menu container okay so like I said, this is going to be a container for all, all this part in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a div with a class of um, special menu call. Okay. And this one, I'm going to create four of them. I'm just going to show you now why I'm going to create four of them. So we got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so let's go in here. So what I'm doing in here is I'm gonna create one column. This is one special menu call, okay? This is another one, look, as I'm going with my mouse. And another one in here. And another one in here, all right? So we have like four different pieces. And then inside of each one, we are gonna put more stuff. So in here, let me just see, uh, I'm going to put in here, in this first one, I'm going to put a div with a class of uh, call large and um, what else, call large and then I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to call it call large one. I think like this call large dash one you can call it basically whatever you want I'm just gonna copy this I don't know why Emmett sometimes it doesn't work uh, okay so I'm gonna put in here oh, oops I'm just copy this and sometimes Emmett doesn't work straight away call large okay and then I'm gonna put in here call large one call large one okay so I'm gonna have one of these and I'm gonna have another call large in here okay just something like this and this one in here is gonna be the call large two all right let's just we are gonna create this part in here first okay first of all so let's go in here we got the call large one First thing I want to do in here is put this icon in here. If you remember from before, I told you that we can go in here to font awesome. Font awesome. 
and let's just see in here what can I put I'm just get rid of this just gonna look for um, uh, uh, dessert let's see if there is something in here for dessert uh, there is an ice cream that's fine let's click on it I'm gonna copy this code so if you click on it it copies automatically and I'm gonna put it in here like this okay I class this then what I'm gonna do let me see I'm gonna put in here desserts okay so I'm gonna down here I'm gonna put a h3 with a class of a special menu h3 and in here we had I think it was desserts let's see desserts that's fine after this I'm gonna put a span with a class of separator because I'm gonna put a separator in there you see we got the image we got the title with the desserts we got a separator and now we're going to ice cream okay and then what's this ice cream in here it's gonna be a h4 h4 with a class of special menu h4 and I'm gonna put in here ice cream and after this ice cream we have a paragraph with just a little bit let me see paragraph with a special menu P and you can just put some random random text in there I'm just gonna copy something that I have in here and I'm gonna put it in here okay okay some random text and after this I'm just gonna put another h4 I'm gonna put in here h4 with a class of a special menu h4 so it's gonna be the same I'm just gonna copy this one is it the same I think so copy this and in here I'm gonna put from 9.99 all right let's see how does this look like so far okay we got this one in here we got the desserts we got the ice cream we got this one and this one is nothing close to what we have in here but we are gonna sort it out now so what we need to do is start styling this up let's go in here to our main.css just seeing here and first thing I'm gonna do is okay uh, I'm gonna create my call large one okay this is the first one that I want I want to give it a background color of this kind of uh, orange I'm gonna put in here and let me see I'm gonna put all the text inside to be white let's see let's refresh and look this column in here now has a background color of orange and all the text inside white perfect now I want let me see what I have in here uh, right I'm gonna put in here my special menu call okay if you remember the special menu call is this one in here which basically is just like this one we got one we got two so we got two in here on the top and then we got another one in here and we got another one in here so we got four of them so what I want to put in here is say I want to have a width of 50% of the parent container and then I want them to have a display of uh, actually I'm gonna do this a little bit later just to show you okay so we got this one in here let's go and see how does it look like refresh and that's it okay we got uh, let me just we got this one in here we got the call large one and as it is okay let's target my call large now all right so in here in this call large that we have in here at the moment so we got this one in here special menu call is going to be in here this one 
and we got this call large in here. Let's start styling this call large. So I'm going in here, this call large. I'm going to say that it's going to have a width of 50% and it's going to have, let me see, a height of 450 pixels. I want it to have a height and I'm going to put it as a display of flex and I'm going to put justify. No, I'm not going to put this right now so I can show you guys why do we need to put this. All right, let me just like refresh this. As you can see, look, special menu call is just this part in here. And then inside we got this one that is just taking half of the space. Okay. And it should have something else in here. So let's just style this one now, first of all. So in here, this one is the call large one. Okay. So in the call large one, I'm going to put it as a display of flex okay let me see in here where do i have it uh right okay i'm gonna put it as a display of flex I, I think i can put it just in here that's why i can put it in here display of flex justify content center uh, no i'm gonna put flex start flex start and I'm going to put as well a uh, flex wrap wrap flex wrap wrap. If any time is going to be more than 50, uh, more than 100% is going to go to the next line. Okay. So I got this one. Uh, I want to put as well. Let me see in here. I want to put a line content to be in the center okay so this should fix all of this maybe let me just go in here i'm going to put in here as justify content maybe center maybe this this one should help let me see center let me go in here refresh and yeah it's looking a little bit better but it's still not what i want so what I can do in here is just go in here to my um, ice cream. Where is the ice cream? So this is the ice cream. I can put in here that I wanted to have a width of 100% on the ice cream. What else was under the ice cream? This special menu H3. Uh, we still didn't target it, but we can do it now. Okay. So this one, the H3 is going to have a width of 100%. Okay. So this should help out. Let's see. So this one, this one, this one, all good. All good. Okay. So we got all of these in here. Let's get ready to style this. First of all, let's start with the ice cream in here. Okay. So let's go in here. To the ice cream first thing i'm gonna do is say a font size to 50 pixels now what i'm gonna do in here let's see i'm gonna put a margin bottom of 10 pixels to push these a little bit down you see look so now we have a font size of 50 pixels we have a margin bottom from here uh, what else can i put and i have the width already of 100 so this is fine now let's go to the desserts in here. Okay. So which one is the desserts is the H3, right? Let's go in here to my H3. Let's give it this font family Rochester like we did before. Uh, let's see what else I'm going to put a font size of 22 pixels and I'm going to put in here a letter spacing of two pixels what else and i'm gonna put a width of 100 percent as well uh, we already have i put it in here already okay let's refresh and yeah it looks better it looks better now under the desserts what we have 
let's go in here. Under the desserts, we got our separator. So let's put in here. I'm just going to put this one in here. Separator. And let me see. So first thing I'm going to do, because look, this separator that we put in here at the moment is completely empty. That's why you don't see anything in here on the screen. Look, you don't see any separator. Let's create it. So first thing I'm going to do is give it a width of 40 pixels, for example. Uh, a span element by default is an inline element. So you can't give it a width unless you set is display to inline block. Okay, inline block. If you don't use this one, the width never works. So I got this one in here. Now I'm going to put as well a border bottom of, let's say, uh, two pixels solid uh, white. Okay. And what else? I can put some margin on the top and bottom of 15 pixels. And left and right is going to be centered. So it's going to show in here. Let's refresh. And look, there it is. Um, I think I didn't put my ice cream in here. Yeah, ah, we are gonna we are gonna take care of this ice cream after. Right, so this ice cream, let's go in here, is this one. Special menu H4. Okay, let's go in here. I'm going to put it in here just to make sure that uh, we try to follow like a sequence. Okay, so H4, let's see. And I'm going to put the same for the H. It should be the same. Right. So in here, I'm going to put the same font family. Okay, this one that we have been using many times before. I'm going to put a letter spacing of three pixels. And I'm going to put a width of 100%. So, so it occupies the whole line. Let's refresh and look. Here it is, the ice cream. Okay. Um, so we got this one. Uh, now we just have the paragraph. Okay. This paragraph in here. Special menu paragraph. Um, so I'm going to put in here. Don't forget the dot in here. And now I'm going to put also this kind of font family in here. I'm going to put the font size to be 14 pixels. And I'm going to put a padding of 30 pixels and 20 pixels around. And a width of 100%. And there you go. Look at look at this. I'm just going to select this. This is the, the padding that we just put. 30 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right. That's why you see a nice spacing. So we got our first card in here. Look. Uh, inside of our call large, we got the call large one. Let's go to the next one in here. So the next one in here. So we got this one okay we got this call large too and let's see what we are going to put in there we're just going to put this one in here all right so let's go in here so like i said we have already this div in here at the moment it's completely empty but that's fine we are going to put something in there uh, if you remember because this div has a clause of call large where it is our call large we set it to have a width of 50% of the parent, a height. So it already has something in there, but you can't see anything because there is no content. So the content that we're going to put, let me just save this. I'm going to put in here. Um, so call large to, I'm going to give it a background image of URL. And same thing like before, we are writing down these in our main.css, if you don't remember. We need to go one level up, we go into images, and then I'm going to select this one, this image that I have in here, icecream.jpg, okay? So 
go up with the two dots, go into images. Look, even Visual Studio helps. And then we got these, where is it? Ice cream, look. And now I want these to be a little bit more centered in the container. So I'm going to put background size to be cover. All right. Refresh. Oops. I'm all the time committing the same mistake. Uh, let's go in here. This is the one I want to refresh. And it goes in here. Okay. So this is because look, we are in the special menu call. Okay. Where is our special menu call in here? I need to put a display of flex display of flex and I need to put a justify content flex start. So it starts from left to right and it's going to occupy until 100%. And if it's going to be more than 100%, I want to go to the next line. So this is what I need to put in here. Flex wrap wrap. Okay. Refresh and ta -da, here it is. So we got this one, we got this one. So this is fine. Now we can basically almost like copy what we have in here and just replicate in here. Okay. So look at this. I'm going to go in here and this is a call call. Okay. I'm going to copy all of this code. I'm going to put it down here into this last column. Uh, so now this is going to be the large column uh, three and this is going to be four. Okay. Because look, we got one large column, two large columns, three large columns, four large columns. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so this is what, what's going to be. So let's just see in here. I'm going to put what, let's see. Uh, we got, uh, donor lunch, donor kebab. Okay. So I'm going in here. I'm going to put lunch. Uh, so I'm going to put lunch and in here, I'm going to put do donor kebab, something like that. Let's see what price the price is the same. I'm going to put twenty. I don't know, $20. No, it's too much. I'm going to put uh, $12. Okay. 12 99 doesn't matter. So let's see, let's refresh. Okay. Look now this is also in here. Okay. But don't worry because we need, we need to, we need to fill these things up. Uh, so we got this lunch. I also want to put in here. I'm, I'm going to put food in here. Okay. Let's see what we have food. Let's put these forks, copy these text, this I class that is in here. And I'm going to put it in here. Okay. I'm going to copy these F a utensils. And where is my where is my ice cream? So this is going to be similar. Okay. Let's see. Refresh. Okay. And I'm going to put call large, call large one, call large three. Okay. This should be the same. Let's refresh. And there it is. Okay. We got this one. We got this one and yeah, it's basically the same. And now in here, in this one, which is our call large four, uh, I'm going to put in here, just going to put some kind of things in here. Okay. Ah, I'm going to put the pizza slice, pizza slice. Okay. Let's refresh and there it is. Okay. We got the first one. We got the second one, but there is like some space in between. Okay. Because if you remember, we had four of these columns, look, 
one, the first one that we, we, we built, and then we got the second, and then we got the third, and then we got the fourth. Let me just go back in here and show. We got the first, is gonna be this one. We got the second, we got the third, and the fourth. So we did the first and the fourth. So we need now the second and the third in here, okay? So let's get started with this. Um, so I'm going in here and I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna copy this. Now I'm just gonna copy this one in here and I'm gonna put it in here as, let's see, call, call small, and this is gonna be call small one. Okay, let's close this because it was not closed. All right, so let's see what we have in here. In here, in this one, we got some kind of, um, some kind of dish as well. You, you, you could put, so many different things. Uh, I'm not sure even what did I put in here. Let me just see quickly. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same thing. It, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put in here, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna copy a bit of what we have in here. Okay. So I'm gonna put in here, let's see. Okay. I want to have these kind of forks and knife. You guys can put whatever you want. Uh, wh where is it? Oops, I think I'm doing some mistake. It should be in here. Okay, let me just copy this again. I'm gonna put it in here. This is the right place, this is the right place. And now, let me just copy this one again. Okay, let's put it in here. Okay, so uh, we got uh, special menu H3. In here, I'm just gonna put it call small H3. Probably it's gonna be better. Call small H3 and this one is gonna be call small. Sometimes the names get a little bit messed up if you don't organize this like in, um, in advance. And this one I'm gonna put it separator uh, orange okay so we got all of these in here so we got call small call small one right let me just see in here what what we can do let's go let's just see how does it, this look like at the moment okay so we got something in here so this is fine we got desserts ice cream whatever we're gonna change to whatever is in here uh, right, let's go in here to our main.css. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target my call small one and give it a background color of white. Okay. Let's refresh. Here it is, is white. That's what we wanted. And let's go back in here. I'm gonna put in here that my call small is going to have a width of um, 50% okay is going to have a height of um, how much was the height that we put before for the large columns we put the height of this somewhere in, around here uh, let's see 450 pixels so what we can do in here is I'm going to put 450, so it's 225 pixels, okay? I'm going to put it also as a display of flex. Justify content, I'm going to put it as a flex start as well. And I'm going to put flex wrap, wrap. And let me see if I'm missing something. I'm going to put align content to be in the center as well. Okay, let's refresh. And th there it is, okay? So we got this one in here ready. And after this is going in here at the top, so don't worry about it. Um, okay, so we got this one in here. Now, what I need to do is target this call small. I know I need these FA utensils. Okay, 
So this FA utensils, I'm going to put it in here. Um, I'm just going to put it in here somewhere. I want them to have, let me see, I don't remember if this is white or black. It's going to be orange, actually, this one. So I'm going to put it as orange. I'm going to put this kind of color on them. I'm going to put a font size of 50 pixels. I'm going to put a width, a width of 100%. Okay, 100%. And let me see if I'm missing something, a margin bottom of 10 pixels. Margin bottom of 10 pixels. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually, I don't want this to be the utensils. I'm going to put in here as a, if I remember, I had something like this, like a burger for food. Probably this, this one is better. Just going to copy these going to put it in here okay like this and I'm going to put it in here like this okay this FA burger take this off save refresh and there it is okay so now I got this one now I need to target my Small, okay, I got to the call small h3 and call small h4. Let's see. Um, just going to put it in here. Call small h3. I'm going to put this kind of uh, font like we put from before. I'm going to put it the font size of 22 pixels okay font size 22 pixels I'm gonna put a letter spacing of 2 pixels a width 100% and finally I'm gonna put this same color as well okay we got this one and I need the h4 okay let's go in here I'm gonna put my h4 Okay, H4, and now I'm going to put the width of 100% as well. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to put the color to be black. So, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to put a letter, letter spacing to be uh, 3 pixels. And I'm going to put the font family to be this kind of uh, Oswald. Right, let's refresh, and there it is. So we got the burger, we got desserts, ice cream. Let's see what we have in here. I'm got dinner chicken grilled. Okay. Uh, let's see in here. I'm gonna put dinner. What do we have? So we got we got dinner, we got separator, and we got that one. I'm missing something in here. Dinner. In here I'm gonna put chicken grilled. I'm gonna put burger grilled because this doesn't make too much sense. Burger grilled. Okay, we got this one in here. Uh, let me see. Ah, we miss the from. Yeah, we, we miss this part in here that says. So this one, let me just see what we have in here. Something like this. This one is going to be H5. So 5, 5. And I'm going to put the burger uh, from, I'm going to put 4.99. I don't know. Okay. So I got this one in here. And I'm going to put the call H5 to be the same. Yeah, to be honest, I, sh I should even leave to be these the same. Okay, let's just save these. Let's just refresh. And okay, burger grilled. What, what's what's the problem in, he in here? Uh, 
uh, h4 h4 h5 call small there's something wrong in here which is this okay now it should be fine let's refresh and there it is okay we got to this burger grilled ah uh, now uh i think yeah this one in here it needs to be with a different color uh, so I'm going to put it in here, uh, in this one. Okay, I need it to be with this color. Okay, I need to have a margin top of maybe like 10 pixels to give a little bit of breathing room. Okay, so this is better. And now, okay, we have this class of... Uh, separator orange which i'm gonna put in here okay and this separator is going to be exactly the same thing as before our other separator that we created this one but so i'm just going to put in here the color orange so we don't have to repeat all this code i'm going to put this one and then i'm going to put this separator orange in here at the top okay something like this okay let's see let's see how does it look like refresh um what's wrong in here let's see separated color Ah, okay, this is what I want. I want the border bottom. It's not the color. I want this border bottom to be with this color. Okay, this is what I want. Let's refresh. And there it is. Okay, so we got this one. And now we just need to go in here on this one in here. So this is going to be... Uh, so this is the call small one. This one in here. Is going to be a uh, call small too. Okay. So the call small too. This one. Call small too. Is going to have a background image of URL. Let me see what did I put in there. Uh, so I'm going to put this dot dot images and I'm gonna put the salmon dot jpeg like I said guys all these images I get from these websites that I showed you from the previous videos uh, you can't see anything in here so I'm gonna put uh, background size back ground size to be cover all right refresh and there it is Ah, I'm going to put also something. Background position. Okay, I'm going to put it center. Maybe this is going to help to be even, even better center. Okay, you got a little bit in there. But now look, this is not going in there. Because I, that's what I want, basically. Uh, so for that, what I'm going to do in here is... I need to go into my outer element, this special menu container that we created in the beginning. Special menu, uh, I don't think that we, we created in here. So special menu container, okay? Okay, so in here, I'm gonna give it a width of 70% of the total, of the total um, page width, because if you see in here, look, this is only like, probably 70% of the whole page. This is what we are doing in here in this container. To have a width of 70%. And now I'm gonna put it a margin zero auto. Okay, zero auto. This is just to make sure everything is centered. Then I'm gonna put a display of flex. This is what we're gonna do because look, in here at the moment, things are wrapping down to the next line. I want everything to go in a sequence. So we're going to put display flex, justify content, flex start. Okay. I want to start from left to right, like we have in here. 
uh, what else I want everything to be nicely aligned vertically as well so I'm going to put align content to be centered and in here I'm going to put uh, flex wrap wrap just as usual if it's more than 100% it goes to the next line right let's refresh and look now it's looking much better so now we are missing this section in here let's see look it is the is the same thing look now I'm just going in here um, I'm gonna copy this one I'm gonna put this one in here this is gonna be the call small three and call small three call small three okay just gonna copy this one up I'm gonna put it in here and let me see what my call small three has uh, probably is gonna have a small small pizza this is what I have okay I'm gonna refresh look now it's in here this one that I want and now we can just like copy this from here to here this one and I'm gonna put it in here let's just organize this that's organized and now let's see what does it say in here uh, we got lunch we got sushi fish uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put in here pizza uh, so I'm gonna put in here uh, lunch and I'm gonna put in here uh, I don't know pizza something like this and the pizza is going to be 15.99 refresh so we got lunch we got this one you you can put different icons like i said you you can just go in here and put whatever whatever you you want basically and now look this part in here is basically the same you just have to put this in here and just like change a little bit of things uh, what, what can I put in here for example um, so look in here this column which is this one that we are missing I'm just gonna copy all that we have in here okay copy I'm gonna put it down here okay I'm gonna put it in here and let's just organize this a little bit better so first of all I'm gonna put in here this one comes first okay and then comes that one and then it comes that one and this comes after okay let's save let's go in here let's refresh and as you can see look this is almost like what we have in here but uh, in a different way you can go in here now individually and just start changing things like I want this one in here to say uh, breakfast and to change this icon but basically you have a you have an understanding of how you can build this section in here which is the most important you can go individually to each one of these ones and change the text change the images from whatever you would like Alright guys, so I think that's it for this section in here. I think it's quite similar as you can see. I'm just not going to bother to put these kind of small little uh, uh, triangles because uh, I don't even think that they, they are nice. But if you want, you can add them. It shouldn't be too hard for you to add these. But that's it. I think it's quite similar this section. And in the next video, we're going to do in here the discover menu. Alright guys, so I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.